Expedia, taming technology. Here's how you set the audio device driver in FL Studio 7. We're going to go up to Options, click on that, choose Audio Settings, and have a look at the Output area. What we see here is the ASIO Multimedia Driver, uh, but I just installed a M-Audio Fast Track Pro, and that's what I want to use. So I'm going to click on that bar there, and you'll see I have a bunch of devices in here, including uh, a sound card that came with the computer. What I want is something under the ASIO uh, category, and in this case, I want the uh, M-Audio USB ASIO driver. So I just click on that, and you see it populates there. And then we're going to take a look at the ASIO panel. And this is where uh, we can set buffer settings, which you may hear about from time to time. Um, larger buffer settings uh, gives you the ability to run more instruments and plugins and things like that. Now, the interesting thing uh, in this situation is that if we hit apply, we'll notice that it's going to snap back down to what it was set to. And that's because you can't actually change these settings while FL Studio is running. And I'll show you how to do that offline. Now we're going to have a look at setting the buffer size on the uh, Fast Track Pro uh, outside of FL Studio. First thing we need to do is actually quit FL Studio, so I'll go out and do that. And then we see our desktop here. This area down here is called the system tray. And right here we have an M-Audio icon, meaning that the uh, M-Audio Fast Track Pro is connected. So we're going to right click on that and we're going to open up the M-Audio Fast Track Pro control panel. And when FL Studio is not running, we're free to change this buffer size. So I'm going to knock that up to well, let's put it at uh, 768 and then hit apply. And then hit OK. And that's it. The buffers are set at 768. So the next time you open up FL Studio, that will be your buffer setting. Obedia, taming technology.